Hey everybody, welcome back to Web Inspect. I am Timothy Miller, your host, and today's gonna be a little bit of a short one. So today's just one more little quick tip about the password store that we built in weeks past. I just wanted to also give you a tool that you could use that would integrate with this password store so that it would be a little bit more useful for you. I just wanted to show you how you could integrate another application in using the data from your password store. So we're going to do that using the Firefox plugin. And yeah, that's the agenda for today. So let's jump into it. So here I am at passwordstore.org. If you scroll down close to the bottom, you can find this extensions for pass, which has some useful extensions that you can use and also compatible clients. These are applications that you can use along with pass using pass as the data. So these use the data from your password store, but they don't actually store any data of their own. So they're still they still have all the security features of using Pass itself. They just make it a little bit nicer to use. There are iOS apps, there are Firefox, Firefox and Chrome plugins, there's a Windows client, Alfred integrations, there's just a whole bunch of different tools that you can find to help make the password, to help pull your password store out of the terminal per se. There isn't really a great Mac app, which is kind of what I'm looking for as a Mac user. There is something that I'll show you, which is called Qt Pass. Here's what Qt Pass looks like. This is an interface for Pass, but for me, this is almost less efficient and less useful than just using it through the command line. So I don't really use this application. So let me show you what this looks like in Firefox before we actually hook this up. Here it is. It's just this little icon in your corner. If you click it, it will show you all of your passwords that you have stored. And if you have them configured properly, this actually has a lot of the same functionality as prettier password storage things like LastPass where you can essentially choose your website. So if I go into tools, go to Bitbucket, I can say go to fill and submit, and it will change to that. It'll log you in automatically and it'll do all of that in the background. So it's a pretty nice, pretty useful plugin and it saves me a lot of time. Let's figure out how to set this up. If we click on the pass FF link here, it will take us to the GitHub repository. And you can see there's an officially signed version here on the Mozilla add-ons page. We're going to come here. We're going to click Add to Firefox. I've already got it, but you should be able to click this and click Add, and it'll yeah go through the whole process for you. So that's easy enough. There is an additional step, though. Because this needs access to your command line, it's a little bit more difficult than just installing this plugin. So if we scroll down here, it'll show you you also need, it has an installation section here. And it tells you, you will also need to install the host application. It has a link to instructions for doing that. And I guess there's another link we have to click. Keep going down. Okay, so here's, here's an easy way. Now this is partially why I made this video because I went through this and I tried to do this and it just failed on me without any warning. And that's a problem. And it took me several hours, actually. I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit that it took me several hours to figure out what was wrong with this. But I had to debug a bash script, and debugging a bash script is not very much fun. So I'm going to cut myself a little bit of slack there. But anyway, if you copy this into your command line, like I am about to do, you don't want to copy all of these different names here. You just copy that in there, and then you type Firefox, and it will copy all that stuff. And this is what it looks like when it succeeds. Native messaging host for Firefox has been installed. So it's really easy when it works. One gotcha. When I first did this, it just didn't work at all. It failed. It didn't even tell me it failed, but it also didn't say it succeeded. So I knew something was wrong. And it turns out what was wrong was this, this bash script requires Python 3 to be able to run. So what I had to do was brew install Python 3 just like that. And Brew will run through its process. It'll install Python 3 for you. And once you have that installed, then I think this script ought to work perfectly for you. Once you have that done, restart, restart your Firefox and this plugin should be successfully connected to your password store. So that's it for this week. I know it's pretty short and only going to be useful to a few people, but I thought it was appropriate to finish our kind of little mini pass series within the Keybase series um, on a on an extra tool like this. So I hope it's useful for some of you. I hope you create your own password stores and enjoy owning your own data and keeping your own super secure vault of passwords. And remember guys, this stuff is hard. It's difficult. It's hard to fit all this stuff in your brain, but you do have what it takes. You can do this. Never stop learning.